up, aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. I am waiting in a parking lot for an Uber driver to come pick me up. $40 Uber driver, by the way, and it's like two or three miles down the road that I need to go. But I guess when you schedule one at four in the morning, it costs extra. 40 bucks though, I don't know. I'm trying to debate if I should have just paid for the airport parking and that would have been less expensive, but I don't think so. I think that would have been more. I think I'm making the right choice money-wise. But just uh, on the way to Daytona, I gotta be 100% honest with you guys. I almost, as I was locking the door, I almost went back in the house and canceled the flight. Because <laughs> today is my daughter's first day of kindergarten and I'm gonna miss that. That's a bummer. I'm also gonna be flying home on my birthday all day. So, the birthday's not a big deal, it's more missing, uh, missing the kindergarten. But, I haven't been to Daytona in years, and I think it's, it's, it's time to go. Boom, got uh, Beto, he's gonna be working What's up, hard. Somebody? Ulysses gonna be working hard. Oh, Julie's yeah. gonna be working super hard. Real Jesse's real gonna working. be sleeping. You see him sleeping right there? He's standing up cutting stuff, but he's actually asleep. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> it looks like he's doing something, right? <laughs> <laughs> Brought like 1,700 like blocks of cocoa. Look, Beto, I'm not gonna let you explain yourself, no? <laughs> See, I'm over here supervising him, making sure he's not sleeping. <laughs> we gotta make sure he's not sleeping harder. Florida Reptile right, Show. I haven't been here since like, I think 2019 was the last time I was here. We got uh, Winston set up right here. It's gonna be a good show. It's gonna be fun. It's not too hot in here, not too cold. It's actually perfect. And what's funny, there's not, it's not real echoey. I was expecting it to be a little more echoey. But it seems like it's nice and quiet. I saw a guy over here that I really want to say hi to. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-huh. Which... I would not keep for me. Yeah. Uh, hey. Hi, Brian. Good to What's see up? you. Me too. Good to see you, Brian. Me too, Brian. You're already, you're already filming. No, right? I, I would never film. That's <laughs> not, that's not. not my style. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Yeah, I'm glad to see you, too, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Harbin, one of the nicest people you could ever hope to run into at a reptile show. Hey guys, 100%. come on down. If you got to get on the plane, come on down. You're missing the greatest thing in the world. Hi, Hi my Brian. name's Christina. Christina. I've seen your videos. I've watched all this. Now I'm going to meet everybody. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just got into hog news this last year, starting with his. Nice. So, yeah, now I got 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't take long. Don't take long. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been a year. Oh, yeah, really pretty. I like that marking. Really Those little yes. lines across. I love her. And she's, she's just one gene away from being a solar flare. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Sometimes people wow. post those and people say, ah, you're photoshopping your snakes. I say, well, you No, can, not his. You can kiss my <laughs> rear end. <laughs> Seriously, one of the most humble and, and wonderful gentlemen you could ever know in this hobby, in my opinion. Um, right up there with Brian Gundy, I would say. What's up, guys? I'm feeling up. <laughs> Brian's the hardest worker here. Oh, yeah. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> Gotta get ready to go. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? I like the humidity. I like the humidity too. It's like Hawaii. Yes, yes it, it's very much that like Hawaii. I've been on the beach for two hours this morning. Oh, I haven't, gone, I haven't been to the beach yet. I was at the Starlight Cafe. Look at this glow. Yeah, I'm getting the glow on. All right. I'm getting close. Your freckles are getting closer together. <laughs>
have a good one, bro. Man, doors just open and it's getting pretty packed in here. It's starting to fill in. Let's see if my buddy Kylan's ready to show us some picture. stuff. Oh, so you want to take a quick picture? Yeah, sorry, let's take a quick picture. Nice, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate yeah, bro. it. Thank you. Bro. Love your content, man. Thanks, it's brother. Cool. Thank you. What's up? You want to do it? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, come on. Get in here. This is my buddy Kylan right here. We're going to check out one of his animals. He's got his tape. What you got here, dude? What's up, man? I got an olive python. We don't really have many in this country anymore, but, you know, I'm blessed to have no, yeah, one of this size. I got him at the show. I don't really want to get yeah, rid of him, but uh, you know how it goes at these shows, man. Yeah. But yeah, dang, it's always it's a dream, man. You know, seeing people like you, like big inspiration to the community. You know, with all the stuff that we have going on here in Florida, you know, with the laws, you know, going against us, it's awesome having advocates as big as y'all from all across the country. You know, coming here and you know either speaking on YouTube or freaking you know just doing it in person down here it means a lot for real. You know, yeah. it, it, it's awesome. Man. Yeah, Flo Florida is facing a lot, a lot. They're on the as most of you guys know that are following anything that's happening in the reptile world. Like Florida's on the front lines of legislation that's trying to go against reptile keeping, basically, and it's a lot of it's based in pseudoscience and, and myth. I mean, there's a little bit of truth as to anything. There's a little bit like, there, you know, it's a very easy place for things to survive, but it's really not the main thing facing the environmental health of this state. So it's it's just, it's a bummer to see like how hard the government is pushing against reptile keeping in particular when it's not really the number one problem if you really do research and find out what are the actual factors that are really affecting the natural ecosystem of this state. So Yeah, hey. For real, man, it's awesome. We appreciate it. You should get a picture of my pastel DG exanthic. I'm actually on my way to try to make these myself right now. I'm doing the pairing. Okay. But I'm doing the SK line. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's let's check this out. We're here at Brock Wagner's uh, table. He hangs out with Winston and. Uh, Let's check out his animals. So, tell us about it, Brock. You bet. So I just picked this up. This is a pastel uh, DG and Xanthic BPI line male. So I can start working this into my project. So I'm pretty proud of it. It's a beautiful animal. Can't wait to start getting more Xanthic into my collection. So yeah, he's a stunner. Perfect. Thanks, Brock. You bet. Thank you. This snakes and stuff booth looks really cool. They, they guys, these guys have a great booth right here. Probably one of the best looking booths of the show. I think it looks really professional and everything's covered up and it'll be the complete opposite of how my table looks at a show really but it, it looks really good what's up <laughs> alex jackie yeah, yeah you like that <laughs> i was kai earlier hey where you at i like your channel oh thanks man yeah. what's your name man joe joe yeah good to meet you bro you likewise yeah have a great show man you can help me see the face <laughs> know him from somewhere <laughs> i love bumping into people at the shows that watch the channel it's just uh makes it awesome it makes it really awesome that's what it's all about <laughs> I'm good, how are you doing? I'm Sandy. Sandy? Yes. And and I watch you all the time, and I'm proud to call you a brother in Christ. Oh, right on, sister. <laughs> right on. Why not? Yeah, one thing I wish I had in my answer project, I don't really have yellow belly, and I can't, I just keep missing it all, so. Okay. But I'm just looking at him, I can see, like, the sides are a little different. I'm like, okay. Jason's Kittinger, Kittinger Reptiles, really good company, really nice guy, good stuff. I got you because I got a new design. Oh, yeah, I see that. That's yeah, nice, dude. I yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Python. Yeah. I dig it. Nice. Yeah, and I've been doing good. Yeah, good, man. You know? Everything everything been well? Yes, yes. That's you know, awesome. more relaxed. Is going to be okay? No. Help. Can put the pants on? Not no? Not going to make not it. Make it. Not going to make it? All right. Yeah, there's always a casualty or two at every show. So, you know, it's sad. You hate to see it, but it is what it is. At least put some clothes on her. Gosh. It turns out to be a male. Oh. You're not mad. It has mad about it. So Technically, this is what you bought it as. Oh, Tony, hardwired exotics. Check him out. Oh. My oh. God. Oh. <laughs> is this thing on? No. It's oh, not come on. on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't keep the camera rolling at all times. I've never. <laughs> What's up, bro? Lucas Masso. Ladies and gentlemen. Best believe. Best hair in the game right now, Thank I think. You. Look what we just got. Tell, so, tell me about it. Just tell me. It's a out. corn snake. It is a female black tail corn, corn snake. Corn snake. <laughs> They're endemic to Florida and Georgia. <laughs> and this is a really rare locality. <laughs> you the... say Florida and Georgia? <laughs> I guess the corn snake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, obviously we're kidding. <laughs> obviously, yeah. So this is a black tail Kribo. September. Or Jeremy would call it black tail corn snake. Hashtag <laughs> you, Jeremy. <laughs> they they are. Colubrids, so there is that. 
colubrids from South America. They get huge. They like to uh, hit all over their cages and their tubs. So it's a really fun snake. The same genus as the uh, Eastern Indigo snakes and etc. So yeah, yeah, super cool. Let's look at it again. I didn't get any beer on. <laughs> this this black tail corn snake is a wonderful species of colubrid from the southern tip of Florida, aka Tom Crutchfield's house. So you can find these here endemic to his uh, blue wall of concrete cinder blocks, and uh, he has a whole colony of them. But if you touch them, he'll shoot you. <laughs> Just kill him, right? <laughs> Just met Paul here, fan of the channel. We got his boy Aiden. He just picked up his first granite carpet python. I'm gonna take a look at it. I can't get it open. So tell me about it. Um, so granite carpet python. It's a, yeah, it's an adult male. Uh, I have a I have a head uh, head granite female at the house who uh, I'm gonna pair this up with. Uh, so these are from Billy Hunt uh, from Uwabami Reptiles. He's got amazing snakes and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not I'm oh, not good at speaking. It, don't worry about it. Um, maybe train it to stay still when you're at home too, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a whole other side to this thing. I'm gonna go over there and do an uncut video or two and we'll post those on either end of this video right here, but I don't know. I don't think I don't see this video getting any better than that right there. Except maybe this guy's kinda creepy. We'll, we'll leave you guys with this. It's not not appropriate, but we'll do it. Wayne's looking good. Yeah, yeah. He came by, he said, what's your uncle looks like his brother? <laughs> oh, fine. We were here all weekend, right? Come on by the <laughs> National Reptile Breeders Expo show and see Green Dragon Broker. Meet Brian Pesco. Meet these two fabulous people. Yeah. You want to come home with a ball python? <laughs> Woo! <laughs>